That was interesting. It's not an auto- okay, it's not an auto scroller. Holy crap, that scared me. It's not that bad. Auto scrollers are not that bad. They're getting a bad rep because of GDQ. Oh no, ice physics! Okay, okay, this is bad. Auto scrollers are bad because you can't speedrun them properly. That's why people say it's bad. Or, I mean, the other one is the pacing, and, uh, and like, you don't know- if you're not familiar with the pacing, that's the, the oh no I was so knowing about, I guess. Oh, it's music. What is that? Wait a second. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. Am I gonna be stupid? That's not how it works. Okay, okay, at least you don't die. Because, yeah, you're climbing, right? Okay, that's really suspicious. I'm not sure what that is. Go away, Swain. Can you rebind the keys? I wonder. Oh, whoops. It can't, right? Uh... Control. I don't like this control scheme. Oh, I can get this now. I want to get the other one now. I'm finally near the mountain summit. Looks like my adventure is about to come to an end. Clearly, you haven't watched the trailer. <laughs> Pardon? Never mind. Hey, it's cold and slippery out there. Be careful. Stories. Of course. Oh, I regret not talking to him more in the previous areas. Damn. Here's one for you. There once was a village settled in a land of ice and snow. Food was scarce, but not as much as heat. Their elders spoke of a lush grove, safe, abundant, and with comfortable weather to boot. The only problem was... That grove lay on the other side of a permanent hailstorm, which would take weeks to cross. One day, a brave couple left their young boy behind to attempt what the village called the Trek. They would scout all the way to the grove and confirm its existence, then come back to the village and lead everyone to a better life. Like all who attempted the Trek before them, they sadly predictably never came back. Is it because it was too good over there? Over the following decades, that boy grew up with only one goal in mind, to take on the trek himself and find his parents alive at the grove, or dead in the ice. Figuring they may have simply been ill-prepared, he trained every day until he was five years older than his parents were when they left for the trek, then set off for his own attempt. The hailstorm's first bite wasn't as bad as he thought it would be but the ice-cold soil slowly worked its way into his bones. After days of walking... <laughs> I can't believe I'm reading this story. <laughs> After days of walking through the storm without realizing it was all just a metaphor playing out in his troubled young adult mind, he stumbled upon a no-pun-intended chilling sight. His parents, frozen solid in a block of ice. The shock was too strong. He remained there, cursing, pondering, and cursing again, until the cold took him to be part of the ice block. The end. Wait, what? Yeah, seriously, what? What do you mean, what? No more. No moral? Or at least the proper ending? Sometimes stories can be harsh. It might just be the very message they mean to convey about life. I agree, actually. Happy endings and all that stuff. It doesn't matter. As long as you just tell your story the way you want to tell it, it's perfectly fine. And people are not going to be happy with it. And that's fine too. You need to think about what transpired and find your own takeaways. There are no wrong answers as long as they ring true to you. I mean, that's delusional, but okay. Maybe, but this one really felt like a pointless story. And it just might be the case that for you, it was. 
or you could consider the implications of our adventurer being five years older than his parents when he found them. Can you imagine gazing upon those who were your protectors and mentors, realizing they're actually younger than you? Your bearers of truth, the wise ones, those you aspired to be like. A harsh reality indeed. You thought they knew it all, had it all figured out, that they were centered- oh my god, this is so long! That they were centered and filled with purpose. Yeah, there you stand, holding the one pillar you ever took for granted and used for stability, physical crystallized, physically crystallized, yet mentally shattered before your very eyes. What is this? Oh my god, it's still going. Have they really found inner peace already when you knew them? Meaning, you're the one who missed the mark, or were they simply excellent actors? Food for thought, huh? <laughs> yes, that's enough. <laughs> oh my god. Remember, this is all subjective. I shared but one angle. It's a story! I'm out of here. I love stories, but come on, that was so troll. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh, so good though, I love it. What's the moral of this story? Oh. Hover. That's the moral. Why did I not hover? Right? Oh no, another Fleeman type? Oh, what the hell? It has extra HP, okay. Oh, this is scary. Oh, oh wow, I thought I was on the left side for some reason. Slick. Ah! Super slick. Not slick. Oh, what the hell? They respawn instantly. Since the, the instant respawn is so troll. Are you bored yet? Get out of here. Nice. Wow, that timing though. Is so bad. Oh, what the hell? These platforms! Wait, what kind of ice physics are those? Okay, how do I cling on? I can't, because it's ice. I see. These ice physics are actually really, really weird on the top side. If I move forward, I guess that kind of... No, it doesn't make sense. Does it? I, mean, I guess it kind of does make sense. It's weird. Oh, jeez, that momentum. Yeah, it's weird, though. Oops, wrong key. I still can't get over that story. That story was so troll. But I liked it, I guess. Because it was so troll. This game though, I'm actually really enjoying this game. I, I seriously regret it. The uh... What is it? Not, not checking the stories beforehand. Because I thought it was just boring dialogue, but this is actually pretty interesting. Oh, what the? I locked onto it? Oh, they're, they're platforms, technically. They're uh, brittle platforms that break when you touch them, I see. That's suspicious. Show me the money. What is this? Never mind. I'm just dumb. That is really suspicious, though, right? Like, what's that? That's also suspicious. It's uh, for aesthetic purposes, right? Oh, new ability. Fire attack, probably. Jello? Uh, uh, ice mechanics? Okay. 
There must be a fire skill. Or maybe the, uh, what is it? The time travel thing will factor in soon. And then it melts over time or something. That's good. I'm almost at my, uh, what is it? Purchase point. I'm gonna go up and get some stuff first before I go. Actually, whatever. It doesn't really matter. It's gonna be another one of these points anyway. So there's nothing new, it seems. Hmm. Left or right? I like to go left, but the platform is bringing me right. Oh! I chose right. Pun intended. Okay, I could go back, but I won't. These mechanics are really, really good. Like, they feel good. That didn't feel good. That was painful. As expected, getting hit by a giant rock. Giant ice rock. Oh, Koma-san! What are you doing here? Seriously. It's an ice place. At least before it was like a kind of... was it? Like an Asian type place? I mean, I guess this is all supposed to be Asian, right? Ninjas? Ninja, 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 ninja. We got bats too. They're just recycling enemies now. Unfortunate. Oh, it's Zed! Or Jindao. Whatever, either one. Oh, that's pretty epic. Ow, that's not epic. Oh, oh my god! Okay, I'm actually gonna die. He's gone. So after three attacks, he just disappears. He's probably gonna show up eventually. But he was stunned! Stunned enemies don't do damage! Okay, I guess they do. I'm pretty sure bosses don't do damage when they're stunned, right? Oh no, I'm so screwed. I don't want HP. Holy! I'm so scared. This ability. Where's my pity heal? Come on, pity heal. Ah! Pity heal me. Hmm. Let me find my pity heal first. Scared me. Okay, I got a save point at least. Oh, the save point heals me. Okay, let's go back and get that thing then. So what's the... Oh jeez. No, get away. What's the difficulty of this area anyway? Doesn't seem that difficult. I could be wrong. Yeah, it's not that difficult. Okay. Huh, that's pretty generous. I can just drop down as well, I think. But I think going left is probably better, because... Whoa! Okay then! Because, yeah, I have to go through here again, otherwise. <sighs> okay. Alright, back on track. No problems. I'm gonna screw up the jumps. Okay. Let's 
Let's look. Almost on? No. Oh my god. Can you not? Can you not? Oh wow, that's so scary. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. All good. Oh, Poros! Dead Poros. Waiting for the platform. Does it not respawn? So derpy. I don't even know. I should always use the the grapple hook. I mean the what is it? The rope? The rope what? I can't remember now the grappling hook. Oh my god. It is just a grappling hook, like come on. A rope dart. Okay, there you go. The rope dart. Oh, in that fight. This is so epic. Boss fight? What is this? Save point. Okay, boss fight. Okay, then. Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, I was gonna say, is he the boss? She? Might be she. Damn it! Wait. It's different every time. I'm gonna be that guy. Oh! Uh oh. Am I gonna die here? Uh oh. This game. Oh my god. Did I ever tell you about the guy who stayed late on a Friday night and started writing optional dialogue to add comedic value for those who bought the looking? Imagine reading his ramblings. By the way, if you feel like that cabinet thing is overdone at this point, I agree. But it's totally on you for keeping on trying to open it. I wonder how many lines of dialogue there are. Yes. No, there's one more, right? Wow. This is so good. This game is amazing. Oh my god. Is that the time travel thing then? What is it? How do you surprise someone who's expecting a surprise by making it empty? A meta plot twist. Holy crap. Wait, it, it actually looped. Oh no, it didn't loop. Oh my god, this game! Uh oh. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Life is gonna come back at you hard, so there are a few things you should know. 
Oh my god. I mean, this stuff is right, right? It's good stuff. It's good content. I'm not gonna read this. Read fast. I mean, this- okay, okay, this is actually true. I'm gonna agree with this. People nowadays- here's my boring tirade. People nowadays don't understand the value of stories. The stories, the standard of stories is so low now, it's ridiculous. Not just that. I mean, it is kind of like that, to some extent. It's hard to explain all of it, I don't want to do that right now. We need more compelling stories. Stories that are willing to push the boundaries. I mean, that's true as well. Wow, did the person who wrote this actually study narratology? Or did they just look up Wikipedia articles? Because I wouldn't be surprised. You can, you can actually do that now instead of going to school for this. Oh, dragons! This is, a. Uh, I've, I've studied this before. Let's see if it's actually the same thing. Oh, sm smog? Smog? I haven't seen the Hobbit movie. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. Smog. Smog. I love dragons, though. Seriously, dragons are so cool. Oh no, he's actually doing it. I love this game. This is my favorite game now, of all time. Is it? It's hard to say, but it's it's doing a good job at convincing me. It's actually pretty damn amazing. Although the comma usage is very questionable, so I'll have to get a little less marks for that. But I don't think this stuff is uh, comma screwing up the commas, comma splicing. This one is kind of wrong though. You need to learn how to use semicolons and hyphens. Dumb. Too many orcs. Narratology is very interesting to study. If you ever get the chance, you should probably study it. As an elective or something. Unless you're actually really, really interested in it. So you learn about like themes and motifs and history. The history of media and communication and all that cool stuff. Oh, delicious. Telling a story is so much easier than writing a story. The writing aspect is difficult. But you can just make like meme stuff nowadays and people still like it. Like, this is pretty meme -y. It's so troll. Why was I curious about the cabinet? Because you told me not to open it. Actually, that is true. I, I do try to check everything if possible. To admit that's part of the reason now after realizing the dialogues are actually like this that's gonna take a lot more than that to get me down I like those crazy dark stories with crazy dark characters actually insane. Somebody actually wrote all this. Wow. Holy crap. It's true. Life is a series of tests. Everyone is an eternal learner and all that good stuff. 
But most people on YouTube don't care about that. Social media in general. This is really good advice. Little hooded dude, Vagar, is very wise. Vagar Greybeard. Very, very wise. And before the little demon is this guy. So I've been giving all my crystals to him no matter what. Whether it's leveling up skills or dying and paying off attacks. What is the meaning of this story? It's a it's a very simple story, like just look at it archetypally. It's just hero's journey story. You have a scroll, basically the MacGuffin, and then you have to do something with it to certain people or whatever. Bait taken. I got an achievement for that? Hell yeah. Oh, now it's looping. Now it's actually looping. Oh. Wait. No, it actually is looping. No, it's actually looping. Is it? <laughs> I'm so stubborn. I'm a really stubborn person. So even though I see this looping, I feel like there's going to be more, even though I got an achievement. Okay, I'm going to keep on keep on going until the philosophical stuff, which is way too long. Or maybe I will just go through it and just mash. Oh jeez, here it is. Okay, it's back. Okay, I'm just going to try and mash through it. You really can't skip it. It doesn't let you until the very end. So all the text just plays out. It's amazing. Is it third time's the charm? It's almost over. Third time's the charm? Is it almost over? Oh jeez, it's still going. It's like Sheldon from Splatoon. Oh, it's actually looping. Okay, okay. I guess that's enough. Alright, so what was it I was saying before? Oh, hold on a second. What about this part? Damn. So what I was saying before was... This guy might be the boss because he's not in there. I'm not sure if that's the case. Oh! It, it is- oh, he is the boss! Oh, he made it. Does this mean we can do the thing? Are they gonna fuse? Keep her hood on, Shorty. He still needs to pass the final test. But I want to do the thing. Now, now. We need to see how attuned to the scroll he really is. Great. Take it away, Prophet. Ahem. Welcome, Messenger. Please hold the scroll aloft so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. Am I gonna turn into a deer? Or a uh, Hanzo? See, I told you he was slow. Yeah, you weren't kidding. Please hold the scroll higher than that so that the prophecy might be fulfilled. Is this time travel? It looks like it. A beam to the heavens? Oh, this is crazy. Oh, what the hell? Castlevania. He he made it. Of all would be messengers. Him? Please pull this off. I really want to do the thing. A gauntlet awaits you, messenger, should you survive. Find us at the top of the Tower of Time. Dun dun dun. Castlevania. 
Glacial Peaked achievement. It's just gonna be a boss rush, right? That's what it sounds like. 